Oh, it's still chilly. I thought I'd just pop out and get a bit of fresh air. So now is a really good time, if it's frosty where you are, to find out where your sheltered spots are. So you remember me saying that this side is not a sheltered spot and you can see it's not thawed out all day. I've got frost all over this side of the greenhouse. But over here, where I've got my high pericones, can you see no frost at all? And we've even had some sunshine. It's going down now. I took advantage and did some housework today for the first time in I don't know how long. And I found my winter boots. I'm so excited I forgot I had them. But yeah, so have a look around your garden and see where the frost is staying. And that is not a shelter spot. So when you come to do your hardening off later, you know where to go. And then you can see on the terrace, clearly that's a sheltered spot. But look, just a bit further out, can you see all those pots still full of snow? So it's not sheltered there, but up there where I put my seed trays this morning, my ranunculus, up there it is sheltered. So just have a bit of a scoot around and find the best places for your seedlings to go and your high pericons. Now as well as your sheltered spot not being a frost pocket, you've also got to make sure that it is protected from the wind. So you can see all of my shrubs down the side of the greenhouse, all of that wind that we had, they haven't moved. And they're only in small pots. However, in front of my greenhouse, we're just about to move them. I said to Neil, leave them because I can show you. So this was perfect during the summer, full blast sunshine, but look, look at the damage the wind can do so that's actual physical damage by snapping stems and also it will really dehydrate your plants if they've just come out for hardening off so this is not a shelter spot <laughs> so we'll move these now before neil's been waiting so i've just got to show them first there we go so here are my hypericum and you can see, look how small the pots are and they haven't moved an inch in all that weather. So that's a very good example of a sheltered spot. If you don't have a spot like me in your garden, then you can just put your trays out around the house where they'll get protection from the walls. Neil's bringing the logs in for tonight. They'll get protection from the building. Just make sure that they're not in full shade because they do need to have some sunshine. Now, why the plants get established and put out some lovely new roots? You just want to keep them out of beautiful sunshine like this and the breeze. You'll be able to see that leaves blowing there and that is removing water. That's speeding up transpiration. So why they don't have their full roots grown at the moment, what we're going to do is going to keep them just in a sheltered spot right down here. There we go. They are much happier there. They've got enough light, but not direct sunshine. And you can see how much more sheltered that is. The leaves are barely moving at all now. 